Hey everyone, welcome back to channel. Today we're diving into the exciting world of photography to explore the best Nikon cameras of 2024. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting your photography journey, we've got some fantastic options to share with you. So let's jump right in. Number 5 Nikon Z6 i The Nikon Z6 i is one of the greatest Nikon cameras we've tested for photography. This is a superb and adaptable camera body for both hobbyists and enthusiasts, sitting below more expensive pro-grade models like the Nikon Z8 and Nikon Z9. It's an excellent choice for wildlife and sports photography, thanks to its 14 hex mechanical burst rate and fast autofocus. It also has Fork 60 eps video recording, twin memory card slots, one of which is a high-speed CF Express card slot and in-body image stabilization IBS. Aside from that, it's a delight to use with outstanding ergonomics and a highly intuitive user interface. Nikon's Z6Di is a full-frame mirrorless camera that replaces the Nikon Z6. Number 4 Nikon D780 The Nikon D780 blends a classic DSLR style with cutting-edge technology to give amazing performance. It has a 24.5 megapixel full-frame CMOS sensor and the EDXP ED6 image processor, which allows for exceptional image quality, low-light performance, and overall efficiency. The D780's sophisticated focusing technology is one of its most notable features. It inherits the mirrorless Nikon Z6 273-point hybrid AF system, which provides fast and precise focusing across a broad frame. This makes it ideal for taking both stills and films, resulting in clear and detailed images. The D780 enables 4K UHD video recording at up to 30 heps, giving videographers creative freedom in capturing high-quality videos. It also includes video-specific features such as N-Log and Hybrid Log Gamma HLG, for improved color grading. The camera features a classic optical viewfinder as well as a tilting touchscreen LCD for easy live view shooting and menu management. Furthermore, the D780 has a comfortable and sturdy design, making it appropriate for a variety of shooting settings. The D780 has an excellent ISO range of 100 to 51,200, which can be expanded to ISO 50 and up to ISO 204,800. This broad range enables users to shoot high-quality photographs under a variety of lighting circumstances. Professional photographers frequently appreciate the D780's twin card slots SD and XKD slash Chief Express, which provides storage redundancy and the option to separate file types. The camera has in-body image stabilization, which is unusual for a Nikon DSLR. This reduces the effect of camera shake, which is especially effective in low-light settings or when using non-stabilized lenses. The D780 is well-suited for capturing fast-paced action, with a continuous shooting speed of up to 7 frames per second, making it a versatile choice for sports and wildlife photography. The camera has built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth for convenient image sharing and remote camera operation with Nikon's SnapRidge software. In an age of immediate sharing and remote shooting, this connectivity improves the camera's usability. The 3.2-inch tilting touchscreen LCD is excellent not just for navigating menus but also for composing shots from various angles, enhancing the shooting experience. The optical viewfinder offers a typical shooting experience, whilst the live view mode with the LCD screen offers a more modern and versatile approach which is especially handy for video recording. The G780 has a weather-sealed magnesium alloy body that provides durability and protection against the elements. As a result, it is suited for usage in adverse weather conditions. Macom cameras are well-known for having easy-to-use interfaces, and the G780 is no different. It has a range of programmable buttons and an easy-to-use menu system, allowing photographers to customize the camera to their needs. The D780 is compatible with a large variety of existing F-mount lenses, giving photographers a wide range of optics to choose from. Number 3 Nikon D3500 While the Nikon D3500 is a fairly simple camera, it is one of the best cameras for beginners on the market. The simple controls and easy user interface are ideal for beginners, and the camera is quite portable for a DSLR. What distinguishes the D3500 from other beginner cameras is its unique guide shooting mode, which walks you through the fundamentals of photography in simple, understandable language so you can learn as you go. Aside from its simplicity and ease of use, the camera has a good battery life and outperforms its peers in terms of image quality thanks to an excellent high-resolution APS-C sensor. There's also a diverse range of native lens options, including full-frame FX mount lenses, making it simple to upgrade your gear as your skills improve. It's a good entry-level camera at a fair price, especially if you don't need fork video or lightning-fast burst rates. It has been discontinued, therefore you may have to seek for one on the resale market. 
The Nikon V3500 is an adequate travel camera. Its sensor delivers outstanding image quality and a wide dynamic range for an entry-level APS-C camera. The battery life is also excellent, allowing it to easily endure through lengthy days on the go. It's also one of the most portable DSLRs on the market. However, it remains quite hefty in comparison to mirrorless competitors, and the autofocus technology is fairly basic, with focusing limited to the center of the frame and inaccurate tracking for quick targets. The Nikon V3500 performs admirably in landscape photography. It performs reasonably well for an APS-C camera with adequate dynamic range to capture more highlight and shadow information. Its noise performance is also acceptable, allowing you to photograph in difficult lighting conditions without introducing too much noise. It's also very portable for a DSLR and very comfortable to shoot with. The camera is not particularly durable with a cheap-feeling plastic construction. It also has a fixed screen, making low-angle photos more difficult. For sports and wildlife photography, the Nikon D3500 is adequate. Because of its slow maximum continuous shooting speed, it is difficult to get clear photos of fast-moving subjects. Its autofocus technology is likewise fairly primitive, with focus points limited to a center cluster, making it unable to track subjects to the frame's corners. It may also be difficult to keep up with subjects that are faster or more irregular. On the plus side, the image quality is excellent, and the camera has an excellent battery life. Number 2 Nikon Z30 The Nikon Z30 is an excellent addition to the current crop of low-cost vlogging cameras. It perfectly rounds out Nikon's entry-level mirrorless choices alongside the Nikon Z50 and the Nikon ZFK, with a very portable design that doesn't sacrifice on the ergonomics that make Nikon cameras such a joy to use. It lacks a viewfinder, making it less adaptable for photography than the more expensive models. It does, however, use a comparable sensor, thus image and video quality are equivalent. A completely articulated touchscreen, a huge video recording button, and a dual mic on the top plate sound remarkably well for a built-in microphone round out the vlogging-friendly features. However, the camera doesn't have the longest battery life and can overheat with longer fork shoots. If that isn't a deal-breaker, this is a fantastic low-cost vlogging camera. The Nikon Z30 is a low-cost vlogging camera. In Nikon's mirrorless APS-C series, it joins the Nikon Z50 and Nikon ZFK. The Z30, like earlier predecessors, has a 20.9 MP sensor, but with no viewfinder and bright flippy screen, as well as a lower price tag, it joins the ranks as Nikon's first camera intended specifically for vlogging. For the budget, it has a lot to offer newbie video shooters and vloggers, including good video quality, a superb autofocus mechanism, and an easy-to-use user interface. Still, its lack of in-body image stabilization, IBS, and inclination to overheat when filming in fork hold it back. The Nikon Z30 is an excellent vlogging camera. It's small and portable, but it's a little large for walk and talk vlogs. Nonetheless, its fully articulated touchscreen allows you to observe yourself while recording, and it becomes bright enough to avoid glare on bright days. A tally light on the front of the camera also indicates when it is recording. In video, focusing is particularly useful for face tracking. The internal stereo microphone sounds nice for a built-in microphone, and there's a mic input if you want to connect an external microphone. The camera can capture fork video up to 30 frames per second without cropping, and it also has slow motion recording capabilities in 1080p. While the camera has an unlimited recording duration limit, it doesn't have the best battery life and can overheat when filming in fork. The Nikon Z30 isn't awful for sports and wildlife photography, but that's not what it's designed for. It's adequate for casual photographs of fast action. Number 1 Nikon Z5 the Nikon Z5 is a full-frame camera in Nikon's mirrorless Z range that sits behind the Nikon Z6 slash Nikon Z6 in IO. It's an excellent choice for anyone seeking for their first full-frame camera or who desire full-frame image quality without breaking the bank. While it lacks several functions, most notably burst shooting and video, it's still a superb camera for photography with outstanding ergonomics, an intuitive user interface, and a reliable AF system, not to mention the high-quality lens options available for the Z-mount. The Nikon Z5 is an excellent landscape camera. To capture a larger variety of information in high contrast landscapes, clean, detailed images with plenty of dynamic range are required. In low light, it also regulates noise levels fairly well. Furthermore, there are some excellent wide angle lenses for Nikon's Z mount that are ideal for landscape photography. The camera is also well made and weatherproof, however, it isn't the most portable option. If you don't mind a bigger gear, the Nikon Z5 is ideal for travel photography. It's not the most portable camera, but for a full-frame model, it's still pretty portable, albeit full-frame lenses can take up more room. Nonetheless, the camera's image quality is excellent and operates admirably even in low light. 
the battery life is also pretty good for a mirrorless camera. For my eyes, there concludes our top 5 best Nikon cameras in 2024 list. All product links are in the description, which is updated with the lowest prices. Subscribe to our channel for more videos. Until then, we'll see you in the next video.